family. So, you know, one of the things I think we often underestimate in our community is the level of self-hatred that we suffer from. The level of alienation that we suffer from as African people, right? Wait, first and foremost, before I even go even further, happy belated to the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Happy belated Earth Strong. That is one of our most powerful ancestors, all right? So I shade to that uh, brother and may his spirit guide us. But I think we underestimate the level of self-hatred, right? As my brother Kwesi so eloquently has put one time during a conversation him and I was having, he said self-hatred comes in different levels. There's different levels of self-hatred, right? To go against being pro-black or go against being race first is a form of self-hatred. Now, why, why do I say that? Why would I make a statement like that? Because if you are black, if you are African, that means you are essentially going against yourself. That means you are essentially going against your better interests. Do you understand that? You are black. You watching this. You are African. To go against that means that you are going against yourself. To go against group economics, black economics, you're going against yourself. To go against dating within your race and only dating within your race, right? You're going against yourself. All of these things, when we don't be pro-black, when we don't be pro-African or race first, that only is a reflection of our self-hatred and we are going against ourselves. It is in your best interest to be pro-black. It is in your best interest to be race first. Because when we are race first, that means we take our economics. That means we open more businesses. We support businesses. That means we can employ more people. That means we can stop crime in our community. We can do so many goddamn things in our community if we just put ourselves first. But because we are so self-hating, because we, since we are so alienated from the African identity, we can't even do that. We can't even put us first. Us first. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. Because a lot of us think, oh, well, I put me first. I must love me. No, 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 no. There is no individual success in a society. There is only group success in a society. So when you put yourself first, your principles first, your best, better interest first, that is just the European ideology playing out with it with inside of you that's destructive to black communities that's why you get black people i always say this stay away from africans those i don't give a fuck africans i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck so so stay away from them that is the white man inside of them controlling their emotions their thoughts and all that because whatever they don't give a fuck about is always going to be anti-black it's always going to be anti-black. Meaning that you're going to tell a man, you know, you shouldn't support this Gucci. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to support this shit all I want. But you shouldn't be really supporting interracial dating. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm going to do this all I want. You know, we shouldn't be having these type of agendas. I don't give a fuck. That Those things are always going to be I don't give a fuck moments. Right? So the point I'm trying to make in saying this whole video, to wrap it all up, is that when you go against putting black first, putting African first, putting us first as a people, you're going against yourself. You're reflecting self-hatred. When you say, I don't see color, that's a reflection of self-hatred. When you say, man, we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't do that. That's not right. That is self-hatred. You are now limiting yourself because you are a part of this group, whether you like to believe it or not. Whether you like to identify with it or not, you are a part of this group. You can't escape from your race. No matter how white you marry, no matter how much you bleach your skin, no matter how, you know, perfectly you, you pronounce the English language, you cannot escape from who and what you are as an African. You can play these silly games all you want because a lot of us like to do that. But there is no escaping it. There is no escaping it. You are African. You are black. You are a part of this race. You are not an individual. You are an individual who belongs to a group unit. I'll give you that. 
You're an individual who belongs to a group unit. So when we out here acting on, on these so-called individual principles, you know, and we just acting shit, that's a form of self-hatred. True love comes from a communal standpoint. Because I know if you good, I'm good. Because if you good, I know you ain't going to steal from me. I know you ain't going to rob me. If you honest, then we good. If, I, if you trust yourself, then we good. It has to be a communal thing. And that's one of the biggest problems that we, we suffer from. We think if we have this Eurocentric ego of self-love, right? This, this grandiose you know, narcissistic love. I don't get, I love myself. Look, I got me a new Mercedes. I love myself. I get my nails all the time. I love myself. I got the new Jordans. And all this silly shit that we think is love, but it's not. And when you really look at how we base that so-called love, it only betters Europeans. Let's just be real. When we really, when we really break it down, everything you classify as self-love. Now I got the new Mercedes. Who that benefit? Oh, I, I'm finna get my nails done. By who? A black woman? No. An Asian. Keep it real. Um, You got the new Jays. Who that benefit? Because we do know Jordan, you know, married to a white woman. So, you know, we know where that money going. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is everything, how, how we define our so-called love for ourselves, it always benefits white people, right? And so it's in your best interest to be black first, race first, because that's what true love is. That's what true love is, to be black first, to be African first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. That's what true love is. So when you're talking to a person and they're not putting black first in everything, I'm talking about in politics, religion, in race, in, in, in relationships, in, in the upbringing of the child. If they're not talking about black first in everything and living it and living it, because a lot of people talk it, but they ain't living it. And living it, then they don't truly love themselves. I'm just being real. You can't. Because you black. You black. How could you not how could you not put everything first black in your everyday existence? You black. So that way you you, you can't really love yourself. I'm saying I'm, I'm I'm just being real. So I'm about to go for a jog right quick. You know what I'm saying? So next time, family, um, you know, and so, listen, shout out to Mama Africa. You feel what I'm saying? Uh shout out to Coded Black, shout out to Melody Glow, shout out to all these businesses, um, Ugly Truth, all these black businesses. I probably I'm, I'm skipping some names that be doing their thing, man, and supporting and showing love. RGBTs, all, all these black businesses, man, because it's an imperative that we support people who who you know um provide a service to our community. And a lot of times we do sell ourselves short. Like, let me give you an example. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story before I get up out of here. The other day, I was saw doing some stuff, getting some um, some Kenoras done. You know what I'm saying? Some red, black, and green Kenoras that I probably will be sell selling later on. And anyway, I was doing it in a non-ventilated area, and I ended up getting some sawdust and whatever in my chest. And, you know, whatever. That, that, that thing could be real hazardous. I didn't have on a mask. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. And anyway, so my chest started hurting. I was going to go to the hospital. I was like, man, you know what? Let me not go to the hospital because they might say I have coronavirus. So I called up the homie, man, let it glow. She brought me some stuff. You feel what I'm saying? This is her, like her second time saving my life in like one year. Vaped, vaped it up and, you know, all type of, you know, herbs and teas and everything like that. And honestly, my chest feels a lot better from what it was feeling the other day. And, you know, wood dust carries like bacteria and all type of stuff like that. And, and I was breathing that shit in for hours, not thinking. So... I say all that to say this. It's important that we support the people who truly care, who truly are trying to provide a service, you know, whether it's through clothing, you know, us being fly, whether it's through herbs and, 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 and medication and books and whatever service we're trying to provide, we should support that service. And I know a lot of people are going to say something like, well, you know, man, we got people out here scamming. And now I've heard about the whole Jay Morrison thing. And, you know, listen, let me tell you something. My plaque is sitting right here. My, 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 uh, plaque is sitting right here. I donated, right? I donated to it, you know, lot, lots of money to it, right? I won't ever stop donating to If If another Jay Morrison, and I'm not saying that he is or he isn't mishandling the funds, I don't know. I haven't went into that. But if another Jay Morrison pops up tomorrow, guess what? I'm going to put more money into it and I'm going to support it again. And if it fails, it fails. Because guess what? It only takes one time to be a success. It only takes one time to be a success. And the day I give up on the Jay Morrisons and the Umar Johnsons of the world or whoever else has something to do for blackness or black people, that's the day I give up on myself. 
That's the day I give up on myself. That's the day you allow white supremacists to say, man, you know what, we, ain't, we can't get our shit together. Let me stop supporting myself and other black people and just keep on supporting them. So the next time another Jay Morrison pop up, guess what? They're going to get my money. Because guess what? I'm not going to give what I don't have to lose. We got to take that same situation we, when we deal with our family members. Don't loan nobody no money if you don't have the anticipation of you'll never get that money back again. That's where problems start. Never loan somebody no money if you ain't got it to lose. So the money that I gave to the, to the, to the uh, Tulsa, I had it to lose. So if it is something going on, which I'm not saying it is, but if it is something going on, oh well, I'm not going to give up on blackness. Whoever got the next thing, let's go. Let's go. Maybe I might be the next person to say, hey, let's put the money here. Who knows? But the day I give up on black people and black strength and black is the day I give up on myself. And I ain't no quitter. So that being said, think black, stay black, love black, support black. And that's real African black power.